Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm down in my workshop. And amazingly enough, my bench is still fairly clean, except for what I'm going to try to show you today. We're going to uh, do some more experimenting. I was going to say testing, but it's really just experimenting with this MFJ Model 904H Deluxe Travel Tuner with SWR and Watt Meter and Bound. And I talked to a couple of people that are a lot more knowledgeable about radios and stuff like that to see if what I'm going to attempt is okay. In other words, I won't damage anything and I won't get false readings. And they, the best advice was just try it. That's, that's what the hobby is about, is trying things. So what we're going to do is I've got my external antenna, which is just a long wire antenna. It's about 35 to 40 feet. I keep changing that number because I go out and I try to measure it from the ground. And I get my, my guess keeps changing. So, but I think it's about 40 feet. Uh, and I'm hooking it up to this MFJ 226 antenna analyzer. It's good from 1 to 230 megahertz. And it will give me a bunch of meeting bunch of meetings. Oh brother. A bunch of readings. And the one that I'm most familiar with is SWR. So what I want to attempt to do is tune this just piece of wire antenna using this antenna tuner right here. So the Analyzer is going to be my source for power to the tuner box out to the antenna. Now it's not this analyzer doesn't put out much power, so I may get some incorrect readings because of that. I don't know. I just don't know. But what I will try to do is I'll play around with this, and that's that's what I'm doing. It's playing around using the analyzer and look and see what kind of settings I used to have to use to get this thing to tune and then if it still works I'll try my ICOM 706 uh, and see how it does because it, it can put out 100 watts which I wouldn't use I, I'll probably use like maybe 5 watts but it'll get me some deflection on this meter here which this little guy, I don't think he's going to put out that much power so that this guy can even read it. So we're we'll, just going to try, going to experiment. And uh, unfortunately, I really need some money to handle the camera for me because I'll be moving back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the analyzer. It's hooked up to my computer, which will give me a nice big display of what's going on much more than... Uh, trying to capture this display on my video camera. So I'm going to move the camera around. Um, again, if I had somebody doing the camera for me, I could move back and forth smoothly, but it's going to be kind of jumpy with me doing it. So anyway, let's see if I can point to the computer. Let me get my chair out of the way here so I don't trip over it. So, let me move the camera around here, stand by. If all of a sudden this video goes blank, it's because I knocked the camera over and it broke. And we'll span up. So there's the, uh, I'm on an angle here. So there's the monitor. And I was looking for the, uh, the manual for this because I printed it out before and I left it upstairs, I guess. So that's why we were here. So we're going to go down here and start this program that works with this analyzer. And see if we can get it full screen. And okay. I, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see my screen. Um, I could zoom in, but then you wouldn't see everything. So I'm going to turn the analyzer on, push and hold the power button. Okay, it's on. And I have to go down and select PC mode. Okay, now it says it's waiting for the computer to start talking to it. So I'll start this. 
Actually, what I'll do is first I'll load a file that I saved. Oh gosh, where'd it go? <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Oh brother. Oh, it's under downloads, analyzer, short HF antenna test one. I saved that. I did that that test a few minutes ago with the external antenna connected directly to the meter. And if this works, I should be able to bring it up and see the plot. Okay, here's the plot. And I'm going to look at the camera here. And, oh boy, it doesn't show up very good. What I'm looking at doesn't show up very good. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There we go. Zoom back out. So this is the plot of the antenna by itself. And I did the test. It's funny, it doesn't tell you where... Uh, Oh, yeah, I guess I can tell down here. Down here, I started the sweep at 3 megahertz and went to 30 megahertz. Now, for today, I want to tune uh, the amateur band around 7 megahertz. So I want to tune this antenna to be best at 7 megahertz. Now, if I look here, and I don't have a pointer down here. Hmm. If I look down here, and I have to stand on my head. Now, the one thing I noticed about this program, when I'm looking at a saved file, I can't adjust any of the parameters. I don't think. What if I hit start? No, probably not. Okay. So... I want to, um, I wish I could sit down, but my chair is too big to put in front of the camera. I want, oh, here we go. Okay, I wanted to go to about 7 megahertz, which is back here. That's about up here that says 7.085, and the SWR is 17. Not very good. So we're going to, now we're hooked up with the antenna analyzer. I mean, the antenna tuner, and I have done a little bit of tuning. So now if I turn the analyzer on, we can see what kind of improvement I got around 7 megahertz. So let's start that right now. Okay, mouse, come back to life. Okay, now it's running, and i got to change the scale. It doesn't save the, uh, the setup. At least not, okay, I want to go from 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz initially. Now, this tuner is only good for one frequency, essentially, because you want, you want to adjust the tuner so that the antenna is best at a given frequency or a short band of frequencies. So right now... Uh, wherever I left the tuner set up, I can come over to 7 megahertz, which is about there, and that's where I tuned it. I already cheated and I already tuned it. So you can see the SWR, if I can just slide over, let me change the scale here. Let's go from 7 to 8 megahertz. But you can see down in here, around 7 megahertz, the SWR goes way down, which it didn't before. And let's go to 8. And we'll wait for a second for it to do a new sample. And so it's, it's going to blow all this up. There. Okay, there it is. So we got a nice low SWR in the around 7 megahertz. And if I can get my cursor over here right there at 7.52 the SWR is 1.13 well that's still a little high I want to get it down so let's just say 7.2 megahertz so I need to do some adjusting so the process as outlined in the manual is you first um, select 
a setting for the inductance. And it kinda, that kind of gets it in the ballpark, which I've done already. Then you adjust the antenna and alternately the transmitter controls to move it around. So I'll try that right now. I'm adjusting the transmitter. And I have to wait until this does the refresh. Okay, it moved. And I, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go down close to here. Matter of fact, let me let me select, try to select 7.2. That's pretty close right there. So this is where I want to get this lowest SWR meeting. So I'm going to continue to adjust it. Again, I have to wait for the analyzer to take a sample, which it did. I'm getting closer. Okay, I'm getting closer. I'm almost there. Just turned a little bit more and wait. I hope this is showing up on the camera. That's close enough. Okay. Now, I don't know the interaction between transmitter control and antenna. Let's just, I, I haven't touched the antenna. So let's just see. I'm going to turn this up. Let it sample. Okay, it went down a little more. Now wait and let it sample. Didn't change much. I'll make a big change here. Okay, it went down further. Now, yeah, it's going down further. The SWR is getting lower, but it's a little higher frequency. Let's see where it is. Where is the lowest point? It's about there. So it's about 7.24. So I've, by adjusting the antenna now, the SW, I've gotten the SWR to go down even more. So now it's at 7.24. It's a 1.24 SWR. Let me just see, let me tune it a little more and see what it does. Went down even more. Nope, it went too far. Okay, I'm going to come back on the setting for the antenna. Right there seems to be best, but now I'm a little off frequency. So let me see if I adjust the transmitter setting, if I can pull it back to 7.2. Nope, went the wrong way. Gotta wait. Okay. Let's let's move this back to 7.2 approximately. Which is way back up here, about there. So I gotta move it back considerably. There we go, getting close now. And I'm adjusting the transmitter adjustment on the tuner. Okay, that's pretty close. So I was able to use this tuner and I was able to get to the frequency I want with the lowest SWR I could get. And the frequency is 7.208. The SWR is 1.22, which is good. For me, anything with a less SWR of less than 2 is good. And that, again, this is just on this piece of wire. And as I said before, I'm not really improving the antenna itself. I'm improving the match between the radio, in this case it's the analyzer, and the antenna. So that you get maximum transfer uh, power to your antenna, regardless of what it is. So, by using this analyzer, I kind of simulating simulated using my transmitter. Again, the analyzer only puts out milliwatts of power, so the meter, the SWR meter, and I can zoom down to it, is, uh, you see, camera up, camera left, camera don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, let me zoom in a little bit. The needles have not moved because I'm putting so 
little power into the um, tuner right now. And so what I'll do in a, in a follow-up show is I'll get my ICOM 706 working, tune it to 7.2 in this case, and set it to about 5 watts, and then we'll see what the power meter does, and we'll see if I get a low SWR like I am with the analyzer. So the big, big test here is to see if I can use an analyzer to set up the tuner beforehand before hooking it to a transmitter. So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for everyone that I consulted about doing this test and their help. Bye-bye.